Welcome back to season four of Excuse Me What, and me and Jake Piacenti are going to be having a duel here on the set of WTOP 10. Are you ready, partner? Yeah. Draw! What? We're alive. We're alive. We made it through. Nice! We're okay. Yeah! Yeah! You want to drink some whiskey? Just kidding. Yeah! Oh my god! Where's my hat? What in tarnation? Where's my, my hat? My oh. hat! Don't touch my hat! believe in patriotism. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion. Learn more at legion.org slash we believe. It's back and better than ever. One student can win up to $25 in cash. All on Oswego's favorite game show. Spin to win! Every Sunday night at 9, only on WTOP 10 TV. What's up, everybody? Josh, you gonna you gonna quit swiping left on Tinder to uh, do the show? What? <laughs> just uh, just trying to get your attention there, pal. What are you doing a show right now? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a show. This is oh. uh, season four. Also, I don't use Tinder, by the way. Of, I'm sure you don't. I don't. I really don't. No uh, need. No need. It was a big. It was a, for me. That was a big mistake. I I I um, used it. When I was in my younger years, and uh, boy, did that did that turn out uh, poorly. Not good. I was almost I was almost assaulted. Did I ever tell you that? No, but I, I, we can just skip over that. I don't know yeah, I it's a Me Too mov moment that no one needs to hear. So yeah. it's whatever. Um, so uh, for what type of mood are we trying to set right now? Oh my God! Yeah, right. Well, so what we're trying to do here is uh, the state of Oswego State. Um, because we the are back. State of Oswego State. We are back for season four. We are. And um, today, we just want to give you an update on how things are going on campus. Yeah, the state of Oswego State, kind of similar to the State of the Union, except so, so we're not really all, a union. Yeah, no, 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 we're, we're not just, a union. We're a state. Or we're we're or a our, bunch of drunken college students. We're, that, we're students, yeah, at Oswego yeah, State, yeah. That are just, we're, we're just doing great. But yeah, so number one, we're doing that happened great. today is that um, the parking ban got lifted in Oswego, so Ooh. I no longer have to get $50 tickets every single night when I uh, pass out at 10 o'clock from my rampant alcohol addiction. Yeah, that's rough. You um, can't get a handle on that. Yeah. But yeah, no, really, the parking ban's gone, meaning that uh, we can now park on the street in the winter Yes. during, uh, from, from what, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Yeah. It's, cool. I used to get, I got a $50 parking ticket, and I was like, guess I'm not eating this week. That's, that's great. 
Yeah. It's real great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Billy, Billy, whatever his yeah, name is. Yeah, William Barlow. Yeah, Big William. Bill. William. <laughs> Big, Big, Big Bill. Bill. Yeah. Big, Big Bill. Bill. The mayor of uh, Oswego, Oswego, New York. Big Bill. Big Billy. Nah, yeah, no. Listen to the parking man. That's great. Great yeah. news. So the other thing uh, that's happened on this campus uh, is the good doctor uh, was playing in Waterman Theater. Uh, oh, is that last the last uh, week? Yeah. If I could musical? get my IFB to work, that'd be great. Is that the musical of the uh, play? Uh, yeah. Is it a, wait? Do they sing or in it or no? Uh, they have one uh, singing segment. Um, wait, so whoa, two whoa, of our whoa. friends from WTOP acted in it actually. Uh, Tim Tim Brenner oh, and Tim? Adam Somer that used to run the Oz Room. Yeah, yeah, I remember those. I don't know, they're good guys. They were Great wonderful. Guys. They were right, absolutely Is wonderful. this good doctor still going on? No, nah, it concluded, but now uh, in April there's going to be Fun Home, which and, is a, and they're super cool. So. Wait, so so how is there? Usually it's musicals and plays where there's like a lot of musicals, a lot of music going on, mm -hmm. a lot of music, a lot of you know fun music. Yes. But then plays, it's just it's just acting. So what's the? It's like, about. It's so about it, how is there? Is there so there's one musical number in it? it? There's one musical number. It's about. It's a bunch of short stories from Anton Chekhov, who's like a screenwriter or something like that. I don't know. It's cool. Oh. There's a lot of singing. There's a lot of dancing. There's a lot of debauchery. It was just a wonderful play, and they. they I just wanted to shout them all out because they all did a, a absolutely fantastic. I regret job. not seeing this play. Yeah. So what other? Let's other. Any any other states of uh, Oswego State? Uh, what I else is there? I, I'm I'm kind of. I saw a Tupperware uh, outside of Murano on my way to Penfield today. Interesting. And you know what? You know what? Uh, um, uh, my beautiful girlfriend Shelby told me. Yes. That she saw a fox recently. Oh, she saw a fox. Yes. And what did it say? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if the fox talked. Ding 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 ding. ding. Okay, we're going to commercial. Bye bye. Oh my God! What did the fox say? Are you thinking about buying medicine online? A search for online pharmacies yields more than 20 million results. But which ones can you trust? Medicines bought from unlicensed online pharmacies can be dangerous. You may get a fake drug, your condition may get worse, or you may experience a bad reaction. Don't put your health at risk. To learn how to find an online pharmacy that's safe and legal, visit FDA.gov slash BeSafeRx. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Here at WTOP, we pride ourselves on delivering you all the news you need to know from the day's events. Whether it's happened on Capitol Hill or right here in Oswego, we make sure you know all about it. We keep you up to date on all your favorite, all your favorite Oswego and professional sports. And our Storm Team 10 meteorologists will make sure that you know exactly what weather you're up against when you start your day. Every Monday through Thursday night, make sure to tune in to Channel 10.2 because at WTOP, we don't just tell you the news. We are. We are. We are the news. Everybody, don't you, don't you love our intro music? Isn't it nice? It's it's different every time. And Pristine. That's why I love it. It's very yeah. It's you know we like to mix it up. We like to take it here and just whoosh, whip it around. It? Where's the cup? Move the cup. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Where'd it go? Little, I don't know. Little three card Monty. Yeah, of course. So uh, that's what that's called. Three yes, card Monty. Three card Monty. When you switch stuff around on the table. Yeah. Huh. We should do that at first, like one more time. Oh, that's next show. Absolutely. Right. That's a great idea. We, we, got, we got to write that one down. We are full of. Great ideas. Wonderful. Wonderful. So it's a midterm week, and uh, we invited our good friend uh, Vikram Shah onto the show today to talk to him, to talk to us 
about the messed up things that he's done to pass his midterms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Vikram, uh, I'd very much like uh, you to elaborate on the crazy things that you have done for midterm. Now, I know that you and I are in South for TV and filming together, and you seem to be mm. trailing behind. Oh, no, I actually did, I, I did Just find a clip. Um, call, calling Vikram uh, right out. Heavy drinking, um, getting girls pregnant, um, just just the usual, uh, just the Vikram, casual thing. What are you doing? <laughs> Isn't that how everybody deals with midterm stress? No? Is Vi that? No. Vikram, are you telling me that you have a child on the way? I have, I, I, I have two children on the way. Jesus. What? Okay, so that's one way Why to handle the person oh. I want to be with the most and have the most attraction to, the most natural feelings for. Why did? Why did you have to be my cousin? They I don't know why that. Oh man, I don't I know why not, that played. I did not engage with my cousin. That's Love not how it, it happened. Oh. Vikram, you sure that wasn't your cousin? It looked like you were in the. I think the, the production uh, team is trying to tell us something. And it's, it's that, like the highlight reel Tom, of how it all went Tom, down. Since when are you my cousin? Is, is this like Game of Thrones up in here? Are you are you getting with your family, We're Vikram? Because it, it is so, a, a red herring. A red herring. A, re a red herring. Okay. So is there anything uh, is there anything you want to share with us, Josh, for what you're doing for midterm? Play that in CG one, and it'll come up on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess uh, he's just gonna give tips. You haven't done any study or any crime? I'm still confused about how Vikram's had two kids with his cousin because that's inc that's intriguing to me. Yeah, well, see, look, there twins. it is. Rejected just Lucky Charms one, mascot. One Funny. egg, two, just split in half. Oh, I'm gonna, oh so I'm you so literally throw up right now. You have twins. Yeah. So did you pass your midterms having had twins? Did that help I, you? It's study? actually, I haven't had any midterms. I've only had one quiz so far. Two tests tomorrow, but... I think I have it uh, under control. So those two tests are your <laughs> midterms tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. and I have a sound for TV and film midterm. Uh, Bradbury, right? Yes. Oh, that's on Thursday, not Jeff tomorrow. Yeah, 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 on Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a real, it's going to be a real. Uh, a doozy, if you will. A Cleveland steamer, if you will. <laughs> there, yeah. Like yeah, that. Yeah. It's, yeah, just uh, pull up seventh grade uh, urban dictionary and get some more, get some more yeah. terms for. You for know what I term. used to love doing? I used to love looking at, in study hall, I used to love looking at the miscellaneous romance section of Craigslist. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> that, 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 that's oh, that's funny. Hey. Oh, oh boy. That's, that's a, that's a gold mine and it just a, and just a, a very sad place to be. It was literally just like middle-aged men looking for nice feet, and I'm just like, oof. Ooh, yeah. Or Ooh. the men seeking men section was always. Don't want to be that. <laughs> yeah. Down or the into. men men seeking feet section. Delving it. That, into. That's 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 quite the section if you go in there. But it's kind of hard to get to because they usually have like men seeking men, women seeking women. Women seeking men, men seeking women, and then they have like the other ones too. Yeah, the miscellaneous romance. That are just romance. like I just want friends, miscellaneous romance. And then you Which gotta, is like you gotta like you, yeah yeah though no, then you no there's actually a there's actually a separate section for that you have to like you have to like click through it in a separate way you have to like you have to do like a uh, like a combination of of, of clicks yeah. and then it'll bring you to like a, like a quasi section of Christmas and that's where you get to like the, <laughs> that's where you get to like the seeking feed section oh god yeah it's really interesting that's great yeah, you well check, get, you should check it out to get us. To get us back on topic, uh, I got uh, a paper handed back to me saying that I have to redo it, and it's for my emotional wellness class. Oh boy! I'm sorry, is it saying that you're emotionally? You have to reevaluate well? how you are. How you are is not valid. Why am I yeah, yeah. so much? <laughs> how I am is not valid. You have to feel better. It's no, literally, I'm like so emotionally broken. It's it's insane. It's just it's like, relatable. It yeah, That's no, it's relatable. Is, it totally is. I, I feel very bad for you guys. Thank you. Yeah, it's just <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, this is how it's Yeah, going. so my midterm stress, I, the way with midterm stress with me is that I was like, oh, I'm Monday, I was like, I, I, I was in operations management class and I didn't know what a midterm was because I don't You're know. in operations management? Yeah, yeah, for business, for MBA. So then, so then I was oh, like, God, that's so then minor. I was like, uh, again, I was like, again, like, Wait, when is the test again? And then they were like, oh, it's Wednesday. And I was like, okay, that's what I thought, just trying to confirm. <laughs> and I was like, clearly I didn't know the test was on Wednesday. Like, it was, it was sad. I was like, I, we had a test, we had a class Monday, midterm on, when, on the next class, and I didn't know about it. And now I'm, I have to study for that because I haven't started studying yet. So. Yeah, I just, I, I can't even fathom being in operations management. You're a business minor? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my five-year program. Oh, five-year five MBA program. Why are you special? 
I am special. Thanks. You're gonna be here for a while, old my man. My eyes look dead. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, for me it was uh, in the shower last Stressed. night uh, well, where I realized I had to study for a midterm, and I was like, "Oh, that's I great." I forgot I had that. We're going to a break, everybody. See you later. Peace. Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. Visit www.fda.gov sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. I'm a lot more confident and a lot more sure of my abilities. At Oswego is where I really found myself and became the person I am. You work hard and you play hard. I love the environment of SUNY Oswego. They were, they were Do you think Bryce Hover is Tommy John Survivor, Nathan Baldy? I like that one. Some Irish step dance music for you. So, uh, oh, we're back. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you, this do dance. you even care? Oh my god. I am tempted to just throw that across the room. But anyway, so uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, is coming I, yeah, up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta attend to my communications. Oh, cool. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of important, uh, important mm. uh, stuff going on in my life. So I got to uh, communicate with the outside world with my uh, telephone. Well, fantastic, but uh, so in more important news, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up and all across the state, uh, Su boy. SUNY schools, oh, look at that, nice lower third, thank you, graphics person. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming Saint, up. St. Patty's Day. Oh, yeah. top of the morning to you. Top of the morning. Um, Jesus, okay. Uh, Give me a Guinness. See, yeah, oh, I love some Guinness. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and SUNY schools across the state have been celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Wait, is St. Patrick's Day during spring break this year? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, it's on. Definitely it's on Saturday, um, or Sunday actually. Uh, but anyway, we have some videos it's to show you, Sunday? and we are going to review them. Uh, is it this Sunday? The first is from. It is from this Sunday. So the first uh, video we should show you uh, should be coming up uh, momentarily. I'm still um, really confused about when St. Patrick's Day is, to be honest. So the first video is from SUNY Plattsburgh. Uh, if we could uh, cue that up in any uh, moment. I really should be more on top of when the holidays are, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is our first video. Oh, he's, he's, this guy's taking a tumble. He's slipping. He's, he's tumbling. Tumbling. He's, oh, big. Fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, Look at that pause. There oh, we go. Wow. wow. Fantastic. So I can totally um, relate to falling down on ice. Oh yeah. Like well, every day. I'm an expert at walking on ice. If 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 you didn't know. Oh Having really? Having lived in upstate New York my entire life, I uh, become fairly good at uh, walking on on ice. Some people are amateurs at it. Clearly, these idiots were. Yeah, just dude. All over the place on the ice. You can't have it. Plattsburgh's kind of lame. I don't know. I just yeah. I'm saying it right now. Okay, so uh, we're going to show you the next video. The next video is from SUNY Cortland. 
Oh, so checking out on the ceilings. And we got a guy here about to... Uh, He's trying to, trying, to be, trying to be a gym teacher. He's going to fail. Oh, oh, he overshot that. He Swing oh. and a miss. He tried to smash a table, and he smashed himself. Can you believe that? that how do you mess. miss that? Like, how do you... You're, he's such a big man, and it's such a proportional table. All you had to do was just land on the table, and you missed it. You had one job served. Right? I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, the other thing, too, is, like, how are you supposed to be a gym teacher? This guy goes to Cortland, goes to gym teacher school. How is he supposed to be a gym teacher if he can't clearly aim where he's jumping? How are you supposed to teach children how to do stuff like that if you can't insane. even do it yourself? Ridiculous. Absolutely. Absolutely hate insane. To, hate to see it. Our next video is from SUNY Binghamton. Pizza. Oh, they're, throw, they're throwing pizza off a roof? Wow. That's awesome. So I got to give a shout out to Binghamton. <laughs> Binghamton. <laughs> Where's Rachel? <laughs> Rachel, swear to me, <laughs> give me the pizza. Wow, oh that's awesome. God. I I want to I I want to shout uh, out to Binghamton. They had a dope party last weekend. That party that looks year. so sick, bro. So sick. Honestly, tossing the pizza into the crowd. Huge fan. Huge fan. It's, I want to go. If I ever become a performing artist, which is very unlikely, I will throw pizza into the crowd. Crowd. You know how Steve Aoki takes cakes and he cakes the crowd? Yeah. He like launches cakes into the crowd. You're just gonna zo the crowd? I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna zo the crowd. Just take pizza, take the slice, just chew, 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 and just like That's just eat them with pizza. Yeah, it's a great idea, isn't it? So yeah. our final video is from my hometown, uh, SUNY Albany. Your hometown? Oh, SUNY. This guy's gonna fall out of his tree. Oh, he's, he's oh yes, he is. Look at that. Oh. oh you're done, sir. Can done. you say uh, concussion? Done -zo. That's yeah. You, you're all, you're all that's big done so. It, it's all over, wow, but the crying. Messed up. Oh my but my hair is like always messed up because I just have that like hairline that like goes way, 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 way back. But um, so, but yeah, this SUNY Albany. I love SUNY Albany because they they have some crazy parties. Yeah. Um, they have a fountain day there where kids like literally get into the the school fountain in the middle of the school. Really? And there's a DJ. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. That's pretty cool. It's uh, honestly like. Like, uh, that guy was trying, he was trying to be a leprechaun, but it was just not working out for him <laughs> at all. This Saturday, I'm no actually way. going to uh, no an Albany party uh, for St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be, we're having the parade on Saturday, and it's going to be amazing. That's going to be sick. I That's hope awesome. to, I hope to uh, black out, so it'll be. Wow, Tom, it'll not holding hilarious. anything back. Nope, I know, and we never he's do. To meet, he's trying to meet the leprechauns on uh, We on, never on, do uh, here on this show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Let's get started. Sure. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Excuse Me What. Uh, for our last segment of the show, we are going to be doing a game of broke confessions. This is where we each talk about how broke we are, and whoever has the most broke story wins the struggle trophy, a pair of plastic forceps with a screwdriver inside. Um, and the caveat to that trophy is they can't keep it. Yeah, they can't keep it uh, because it belongs to uh, WTOP. So mm -hmm. it just just a reminder of how broke you are that you can't afford plastic forceps with a screwdriver inside. And you can't afford it, something that you get for free. True. So, um, to I'll start. You want yeah, me to yeah, Vikram, 100%. Uh, oh, by the way, this is our wonderful teleprompter uh, operator, Victoria. Um, she is joining us for this segment. So, um, let's see here. Vikram. So, between three accounts, I have $1.88. Oh, really? Yep. Three accounts. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that like a checking account, a savings account, and then an account for various... Oh, uh, uh, no, it's just three different checkings. Are you like Vikram, can El you Chapo? Can, 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 you, can you explain to me how you have three different checking accounts? He's um, El Chapo. I have different uh, needs and different... Uh, Whoa. Things that I need to have an account for, so I do have three accounts. Wait, so what? Like what type of thing? Is one is one um, your drug dealing? Well, account? no, one's uh, one's an Oswego we go federal credit union, so I can withdraw without um, having uh, the ATM fee. I have a Wells Fargo that my parents my are uh, connected to, and then I have a we uh, uh, Wells Fargo Victor, that is your just mic's my own. Off. We gotta fix it. Oh my! Because <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> We're having a little bit of technical difficulties here on excuse me what. His his is oh, fine. His, his is, is fine. fine. His is fine. I'm told. You know how to turn this on. You have to, you have to, you have to yep, right. there we go. You got it. Her oh, eyes on. on. Yep. Oh, sick. All right. Sorry about that. Our so AP yes, is about to have a stroke because we just don't know what we're doing at any at any point in time. That's all right. Uh, no problem. Anyway, yeah, by the way, our assistant producer's name is Michaela, and she's fantastic. Uh, she's just a wonderful person. We don't have a lower third for her, but she's with us in spirit. Um, but yep. anyway, so you have three different checking accounts mm -hmm. and 184 in the checking account? 88. 188. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's rough. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Like Good like uh, like you have $1.88? $1. Yes. Oh. B combined between all three. So what's the lowest one? That you 18 have? cents. Oh, nice. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. It's don't, they, don't they charge you for only having 18 cents in an account? I guess because they know Ooh. I'm a college student. They, uh, they're <laughs> they a little easy on They just take pity on, on you. Mm. So, uh, Victoria, tell, tell us your most broke story. Okay. I just recently bought a textbook for my music class online. And it cost only a little over $17. That's and a great deal for a textbook. Does that put you in financial straits? Uh, as far as buying textbooks, yes. But as far as eating, because Vikram can't even eat. I have unlimited on my school card. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Wow. I'm I'm jelly, jelly, jealous. I gotta say. You know what? I want to hear a really good broke story. Yes. So one time, so remember how you get Amazon Prime for free for like six months if you're yeah. a student, right? So I had that, right? I had Amazon Prime free for six months. Thanks. That's a nice lower third. I like it. Um, so. Uh, uh, so I had Amazon Prime for free for six months, right? It was sick. And then all of a sudden, Amazon, instead of, instead of asking me if I wanted to, uh, get more, to get more, uh, like, pay for it after the six months was up, what they did was is they just went ahead and charged my card Amazon Prime. Oh, they do that? They did that to me, too. Yeah, and I was like, that sucks, but they didn't actually charge my card. What happened was is I got an email saying, like, oh, uh, this transaction can't go through, you don't have enough money for us to charge your card. It's like, we're trying to charge your card $49, but it, it's not working. And then I was like, well, first of all, why are you charging my card $49? Because I didn't buy anything. Well, that's and then, wonderful, Josh. And then, wait, 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 wait. I have to tell my broke story. Wait, 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 well, my broke story, story is that uh, I just, I, I, I don't have like any money to spend on anything fun.